Hi, my name is Ivan Musto and today I will be discussing with you the requirements for you to enter Cambodia during COVID-19. Yes, this is a, a very uh, demanded video because uh, I have seen that I got many views for uh, people and tourists and also business travelers willing to come to Cambodia during this COVID-19 season and yes as of uh, November things have changed a bit so if you want to enter Cambodia you have to understand that there are not many flights coming to the country some flights like Singapore Airlines do fly just once a week and you can also enter Cambodia by flying Korean Air from US and we have other airlines but you have to make sure well in advance because as of right now there aren't many flights coming to Cambodia the first requirement that you need to have in order to come to Cambodia as of November 2020 is to apply for a visa a diplomatic visa or official visa in a Cambodian consulate or embassy abroad because tourist visas are no longer done and made on arrival as before so what you need to do is you need to get an invitation letter from a business or a company in Cambodia that wants to invite you to come to Cambodia and they also need to send you a copy of the business license or company license license this is very important because as of right now only diplomatic or official visas are accepted for you to apply to enter Cambodia and you need to book a hotel in advance three days in advance you have two options the first is the Soka hotel which is located uh, outskirts of town it's a five-star hotel the price is 385 US dollars and uh, the other options the other option is Tian E hotel so the price is 315 dollars these hotels are to be booked at least three days in advance and uh, for the price for the prices that i have mentioned you will receive free transportation from the airport to the hotel and you will be given at least three meals a day so the the fees for uh, soka hotel and tian e international hotel cover the first covid test expenditure of 105 us dollar it covers meals and transportation to the hotels so uh, the prices cover for two nights stay so this is how it works if the plane that you've just landed has no covid positive cases all the passengers and crew are negative you will have to have two days quarantine after the two days quarantine you can you can go out you're free to go and you can uh, enjoy your stay in cambodia but if a single passenger in the plane is positive you will have to have a 14 days quarantine which is very long for most people and another requirement is to have a, a covid 19 insurance package which is 90 usd and uh, i will be uh, you can see uh, you you can see the link in the description with the website it's called the forte insurance uh, medical uh, package for covid 19 which is 90 usd and you can uh, apply 
online before uh, your entry to Cambodia. So, yes, um, one of the things that uh, I would like to share to all of you is that uh, my, my coach, my basketball coach, has actually experienced this uh, traveling uh, regime outside of Cambodia because he works for a big pharmaceutical company in Cambodia so he went to Indonesia for a meeting and he told me that he has spent uh, 450 USD and when he arrived of course he deposited the $2,000 deposit as the government still wants you to do you pay the money at the cashier one of the cashiers at the at the airport where you deposit you get a receipt then uh, of course you have to do the 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 covid test 72 hours uh, before your departure to cambodia and uh, once you get the receipt of your two thousand dollar deposit uh, then you you are uh, allowed to take the bus and to be brought to the hotel to the either soka hotel or Kian e international hotel so yes and after you are done with the quarantine whether it is two days or 14, 14 days you will be re given the money back so for my coach he deposited 2000 usd and he got back um, around 1550 us dollar so yes 450 dollars was spent by him for two days quarantine plus other expenditures like the fourth uh, medical uh, insurance package and uh, of course the covid test which is 105 us dollars and uh, of course uh, since he works for a company here in cambodia he had the paperwork done for him but he, for, for his case he had already a six months um, visa multiple uh, visa it's meaning that he, he could go out go in the country without problems but for people or first-time visitors that don't have a letter don't have a visa they need to apply in a consulate or embassy uh, outside of Cambodia which is very important so yes Cambodia is relatively safe right now there are 297 confirmed cases all of them have been uh, more cleared except for the last six that have been uh, uh, infected by the hung uh, by the meeting with the hungarian uh, foreign minister uh, which uh, that visited cambodia uh, a few days ago so yes uh, thank you so much for your attention i hope you enjoyed the video like the video share it to your friends and family and uh, hit the notification button if you already subscribed to my channel subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet i will be giving you daily content about cambodia and yes i hope that you can make it here to the kingdom of wonder wonderful cambodia so thank you so much for any questions please free to us and make sure to read the information that i will be uh, writing about some uh, links and websites that you can check before coming to Cambodia because the information can change so make sure you double check before trying to come to the Kingdom of Wonder Cambodia thank you and I'll see you soon